Hi, everybody. Hello there. Most of you know us if you're watching this, but uh, many of you may not. So just to catch you up, I'm Jerry. And I'm Linda. We're the village's newcomers, although we've lived here for 14 months now. So we've kind of have the lay of the land, you think? I think we have it. But we still try to share things with you. And today we're going to go on one of our popular golf cart rides. Uh, we're going to go up and show you the Spanish Springs Town Square. It's about a 40 minute golf cart ride. And I'm not going to show you that ride. If anything interesting happens on the way, we may show you. But uh, once we get up there, we'll show you the stores, etc. And just like all our videos, we're not experts. We're just sharing. Uh, it's our opinion. And uh, we hope you enjoy the ride along. Yeah. And today we're going to be cruising about, I don't know, 17 or 18 miles an hour. My cart will go about uh, 23 or 24, but we're just taking it easy. Hope we won't make anybody mad that's on their way rushing to a tea time, but we're just trying to enjoy the day. By the way, I forgot to introduce Gizmo. Gizmo's along with us today, and uh, here's a little clip to show you what he thought about it when I asked him if he wanted to come. You want to go in the golf cart for a ride? Ah, 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 ah. Let's go. <laughs> We're not quite there yet. In fact, uh, we've been riding for about 25 minutes or so. We're at Sumter Landing. We're getting ready to go across the uh, bridge. This bridge is a little bit uh, tight. It's a narrow golf cart bridge. There is a sidewalk on the left, as you can see, for walking. But here it's a tight lane. We're going to be passing other carts. And then you've got cars going by on the right. A little bit intimidating. Luckily, I am a Gray Day certified golf cart driver. Over here, you saw, you may have seen on the left, that pullover that's... Uh, that's the sunset view. Beautiful here on the lake. And here's the view from Sunset Point. Actually, I don't know if that's the name of it or I just thought that up. But this is where you pull over. You'll see it fills up. I mean, it, every parking spot will be full almost every night around sunset because it's just gorgeous over this lake. We can take a little bit better look with a close-up picture at the skyline over there. You can see the lighthouse, waterfront end behind it back there. This is where the dragon boats come out and practice. They were here this morning, Tuesday morning. But I've got to concentrate on this lane because it's tight. I think that camera is jiggling a little bit because uh, that concrete work could use a little help on the bridge there. But that's it. Uh, we're over the bridge. We're still on our way to Spanish Springs. The villages is full of neat little areas. And here's one. This is a bridge that goes over a swampy area. Or a, actually, I guess it's the edge of a lake. We're going over this really nice bridge. You see the golf carts in front of us. There's a bicycler. Lots of nice little touches within the villages. This is just past Highway 466, heading into Spanish Springs. We made it to Spanish Springs. We're very close to the town square. In fact, that sign on the right there with a gentleman standing says town square. I took 35 minutes of leisurely golf cart travel from the southern edge of the villages uh, near Highway 44. Not the far southern, down near Fenny, Monarch Grove, etc. But we're coming from the village of Dunedin. That's off of Hillsboro Trail. 35 minutes and we're here. So we're going to take you through the town square. We're going to identify some of the stores you might see. 
and although we won't be able to uh, film each and every one of them, you'll get an idea what's available. I'm waiting for uh, golf carts to pass me here and then we'll join in right behind them. Now, Spanish Springs uh, is the oldest of the town squares, dating back to around, and I'm not a historian, but I, I can't remember, I think it's about 1985, somewhere in that range, so about 35 years old. This architecture looks very Spanish. Just passing the box office uh, for entertainment events, Serenity Dentistry, the Stretch Zone, Villages Insurance, all about hearing aids. Synergy Wealth, there's Cal's Beauty Salon, Barbershop and Beauty Salon. Comfort Keepers, Nails and Spa, Carter Healthcare, 2J's Gourmet Deli, of course there's a 2J's down by us. I like their pastrami sandwich, pastrami burger actually. And now we're at the town square the Americano's Grill. Soft Surroundings now. That's one of Linda's favorite stores. Now Katie Bell's Dancing, Dining, popular entertainment spot. Chico's, that's another one of Linda's very favorites. We're gonna go ahead and go all the way straight around the square. The World of Beer, how about that? WVLG, the radio station of the villages. Demshire's Steaks and Seafood. Margarita Republic. And here we are at the Sharon L. Morse Performing Arts Center. Done in a Spanish style. Very beautiful building, large building. And right here is the Rialto. See that? That's a movie theater. It's closed right now for complete renovation. We think they're going to get those reclining seats and all the niceties that we've come to expect. Here's a restaurant, the Dockside. That's Gator's Dockside up here. And the MVP Athletic Club. Now that's the town square. Linda's gonna walk into the actual fountain area and give you a little look at that. I am walking into the square, the Spanish Spring Square, and first greets us is the waterfall. The Fountain of Youth. It's a Spanish say. And the chairs are set up in the back, ready for tonight. The volunteers will come out before five and set these up, maybe around three or four, and put these up. I'm not sure exactly what time they do that. And there are chairs all the way around. I think that's a little beverage stand over there for refreshments during the evening. And I'm going to climb up here on the stage. There's another little refreshment area. And we do have some shade trees and a few palms. And I'm going to go up on the stage and give you a view. And bands will be here every night, 365 days a year, or nights a year, unless there's real inclement weather, hurricanes or lightning, but pretty much they're open every single night. 
and this place will be crowded, ready for the dancers and enjoying the music. And there's some seating outside behind the waterfall, which is very nice and calm. So we're going to hit some of the side streets around the square. This is back on the corner where World of Beer and Chico's are. Flippers Pizzeria. Now we had Flippers one day. It was a really good pizza. McCall's Tavern. That's where we hear there is some awesome fried chicken. We haven't tried it yet. I think the bowling lanes are right up here. Yep, there they are. Notice the square tonight has the uh, ropes around it. Just like the last tour we did at Sumter Landing, I guess they're going to have uh, some sort of craft show or something tonight. Vendors. We're going to turn right on Main Street here and leave the square, show you some of the stores. There's Demshire's again, Steakhouse. Margarita Republic over here on the left. Rachel's Best Soaps. There's a Tervis store. Linda loves her Tervis mugs. Kilwin's chocolates, caramel apples, etc. over here. I went in there the other day and got something to eat. There's Soma Intimates. What's an intimate, Linda? <laughs> I'm not going to tell. <laughs> I think it's underwears. The Village of Sales office over here on our left. King's Gallery Custom Framing. Bermuda Bay has a clothing store. Costco Handcrafts. And on the left, the Village of Sales office. Now that's where we went to sign up for the trolley tour that we took recently. And that was a really good trolley tour. Tour guide was named Walt, 84 years old, sharp as a tack, a font of information. If you go on the Village's tour, trolley tour, up in Spanish Springs, and you get Walt for your tour guide, you've done all right. All right, Matthews and Matthews. I don't know what that is. That's Oh, it's Patchington, whatever that is. And the corkscrew, Talbot's. The Jalisco Mexican Cafe. The Banner Mercantile. I think that's where, and I'm not positive, but I think that's where the Villages sells things. Villages products. Ruby Tuesdays, one of Linda's favorite salad bars anywhere. Panera Bread, going back down the same way that we just came. Give you a little different look at the same street. I think that Banner Mercantile sells Villages souvenirs, but I could be wrong. They could sell banners. Look at that scene straight ahead. That's pretty cool. Got a green light. Citizens First Bank on the left. Didn't mention that earlier when we came through here. But yeah, how impressive that is. Spanish Springs. There's the bandstand right in the middle. This place will be rocking and rolling at 5 o'clock tonight. Every night. I know we're doing some repetition here, but you get in, these, uh, you get in the square, it's one way. You have to go the same way to get around. Where well, there's the Sharon Morse uh, Entertainment Center again. And here's the parking lot for the Sharon Morse Performing Arts Center. 
and look at it by this beautiful lake. And that pretty bridge over there. Looks like a dock out there. I don't know. I guess they allow swimming. Right here across the street, that building that's uh, yellow, rust, beige. That is a Marriott Inn right here downtown Spanish Springs. Spanish Springs, a really neat town center, I think. I know Linda likes to shop here. What's your favorite store here? Soft surroundings and Bailey fashions. Across the lake there is the La Hacienda Rec Center. It's very impressive with that lake in the foreground. That's a beautiful building. It's got uh, all those steps leading down to the lake. We're going to be leaving the town square and heading back down south. Got one place I'd like to show you on the way. Even as many times as we've made these drives, we still use GPS on occasion. See that beautiful flock of birds going across? I believe those are ibis. I'm not sure if I should say ibises or ibis. Thank you for visiting Spanish Springs, it says. Crossing Avenida Central. And heading out. These gates, as you approach, uh, have a sensor. Automatically raise. There we go. We're on our way to a special place I wanted to show you on our way back home. But this is a view from the back side of Lake Sumter. You can see the lighthouse all the way over to the bridge. There's the Waterfront Hotel. Here's a scenic stop along one of the car paths, right along Highway 466. Comes a golf cart. Linda and Gizmo just uh, enjoying a moment. This big old live oak tree. Branches reaching out. This one all the way down to the ground. They've propped it up with a little rock. It makes a lovely little photo setting. And another one of the iconic Welcome to the Villages. Florida's friendliest hometown signs. Still on the way to our secret hideaway. We're coming up on that little hidden gem that I told you about. It's by Saddlebrook uh, Golf Course in the north end of the village. It's very, very near. How about that 57 Chevy right there, by the way? Very, very near the uh, polo fields. I want you to check out this little treasure. I brought my grandsons here when they visited, I don't know, back in the summer. And uh, it's really a neat place for photographs. And you'll see right as we round this corner.
How cool is that? Now it's the middle of February, so it's not at its peak as far as beauty, but it is cool. These trees standing like swordsmen at a wedding. With all these golf carts drive underneath. I hope you enjoyed that. We're back from our trip to Spanish Springs. We had a good time. Beautiful weather, 80 degrees, just the way we like it here. Saw some really cool things, uh, a lot of beautiful scenery. And hopefully you enjoyed the tour of the square where we saw the uh, various stores and uh, opportunities there. Until next time. We'll see you when you get here.